So I'm going to do my best to try and show you how to sharpen a chainsaw chain. Um, this is a grinder we use at work. Um, I don't even know who it's made by. Um, anyways, so these are grinding wheels you put on. There's a couple different thicknesses. Uh, we have a set thickness we like to use. Anyways, here's all your adjustments. Um, normally you're, you you want to run them between 25 and 35 degrees as far as your angle goes. We do all of ours at 30. That's kind of how we know that, you know, we've done them. A lot of other places will do them at 35. Um, at least around here. Uh, this chain's pretty worn. You can tell that that tooth isn't very sharp at all. It's been run into some rock. This is a pretty rough chain. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can get started. I've already adjusted this. Um, this has a hydraulic lock on it, so every time I lower this down, it actually locks the chain in place. So this really isn't even needed. Um, but some machines have a manual lock, which is this. Um, so I just kind of keep that a little bit snug. Um, and then we have this, you know, adjust your forward and back for basically how much you want to take off. Like right now, it, you know, it's, it's not even touching it. You know, you go forward some. You go down. And it's still not touching it. A little more forward. And I like, I like to start out where it's just barely touching. Let's see, a little more. Didn't realize I was that far off. There we go. So it's just barely touching there. And then here, that's your stop. So, you know, you adjust it because you don't want to cut down down here into the chain itself. All you're focusing on is this tooth. You don't want to get into here. So you go down and you adjust that till it just lifts up off the bottom of that chain. I'm pretty sure I've already done that. I might have to tighten it just a little more. All right, let's see what we can do. You can tell right here this has some crap in it from uh, doing other chains. I might clean that off first, which we use a little pumice stone for that. Switch hands here. There we go. And you want to keep a nice round profile on that. So this is 30 degrees down here. This is clogged with crap. If I had it cleaned off, I'd, I'd tell you what the angle of the actual thing is. Whenever I find out, I'll, uh, I'll post it on here. Alright, so we're ready to go. The goal here is to take enough off. I need to go in a little more. I might end up having to make a couple different passes on this chain because it is so bad. So you move it forward. And I'll go up a little. I might have to bring this out just a hair. It's a little too tight. And then... Yeah, I can go in a little more. The idea here is just... I only like to take off what I absolutely need to to get a good tooth. It's all right. I'm actually going to have to make a couple passes on this because these teeth are so bad. Oh, and I forgot to mention ours. This is just standard. This is just standard chipper chain, by the way. We set it at zero here. If we were doing any kind of square cut chisel chain. I would actually move this forwards, doing this side, and then whenever I would turn this around, 
I would go back, and we do them at seven and a half degrees forward and back for uh, chisel chain. Kind of hard to do while I'm holding a camera here. Yeah, this one. This one's a pretty rough chain. So let me work on this for a few minutes, and uh, I'll show you guys where I'm at, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so here's after the first pass, and I've done both sides already. You can see, you know, that nice shiny edge on that tooth. Um, I still haven't done the second pass yet. And it's kind of hard for you guys to tell, but the edge has definitely improved. Um, it's not great, but it has definitely improved. So that's just the first pass. Now I will readjust a little bit. Um, I'll readjust this and go forward just a hair. And we'll go a little more forward, get that hydraulic lock off. And we'll take off a little bit more. I'll see you in a second. Okay, now here's after the second grind, and I know you guys can't see very well. Uh, that, uh, that actually helps quite a bit. But you can see how much better those look. More clean. Now I could do another swipe on this, but I'm all about just taking off what I need, you know, to make a good cut. And that's... That's a good sharp chain. Whenever you're sharpening these, you're basically you're cut, sharpening this top edge over here, and then you're sharpening the side. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with that chain. Um, what we would normally do with our our second grinder over there is it's like this one. It's got the same wheel, but it's flat, and it goes straight up and down. And what we would do is measure um, the raker to the tooth, and if it was too high, we'd knock all of these down to the same height. Um, but this one, somebody's actually done that. They've honestly taken too much off. Um, and this wasn't me. This customer's never been here before. Um, so I'm not even going to touch those. They don't need to be taken down anymore. And as always, everybody, always use eye protection whenever using a machine like this. There's sparks that fly and you can see all this crap around here. That's all metal dust and wheel dust. So just as a review, this is gonna adjust your forward back. There's your up down adjustment. That's just your manual lock. We have a hydraulic lock so we don't worry about that. We set ours at 30 degrees, which is what cuts the tooth at the angle. Oh, sorry, it won't focus. And then we set ours at zero for this type of chain. And I still don't know what that is. Let me knock it off and I'll I'll show you. Sorry about that. It took a took a hammer to get that stuff off. 60 degrees. So the tilt is at 60. That's at 30. And the sides at zero. And like I said, you just you take off a little at a time. You don't want to burn the tooth. And keep this rounded and keep that clean. Anyways, I just thought uh, that'd be handy for people to know. Thank you.